What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Before we get to those pitches, remember, hit that subscribe button, join Ninja Nation, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with you, Darvish, who had nine strikeouts in six innings. As always, he had a nasty slider, but he really relied on his fastball this game, both in terms of pinpoint location with his four-seamer and getting some wicked movement with his two-seamer. Rich Hill, a.k.a. Dick Mountain, had five strikeouts in six innings. He's 42 years old and still can spin a baseball really well. His curveball has over 18 inches of horizontal break, which is second in baseball, and the vertical drop on his curveball is also second in baseball among pitchers with over 300 curveballs. Yep, that curveball's still filthy, but he also touched 91 miles an hour with his fastball. And after seeing all those curveballs, that 91 probably looks like 98. Here's an overlay of Hill's fastball and curveball, and you can see the velo difference between the two and the way they approach the plate. Speaking of older pitchers, here's a great Zach Greinke story. This fan gave Zach Greinke a baseball to autograph, and instead of signing it, he turned and chucked it as far as he could. Asked why he did it, he said, for his own amusement. Never change, Zach. Spencer Strider was absolutely electric. He had seven strikeouts in six innings with no walks. You have to consider him for Rookie of the Year, right? He had a blazing 100-mile-an-hour fastball actually several times in this game. He had this 98-mile-an-hour fastball, and it looks like he just waves goodbye to Bellinger here. What a freaking badass. But it was more than just his fastball. He had this 91-mile-an-hour changeup, which was filthy, and then this slider, and I love him getting fired up here. You go, Quadzilla. Just so much fun to watch. He outdueled Tony Gonsolin, who's the major league leader in ERA, though Gonsolin did have some nasty splitters. Ruan C. Contreras had some live fastballs and a wicked slider, but he was outdueled by Shane McClanahan. And there's no shame in getting outdueled by Shane McClanahan because he is one of the best pitchers in baseball. And McClanahan's a clear leader in the AL Cy Young race. He had 10 strikeouts in seven innings, and his stuff was pure filth. His pitch arsenal is undoubtedly one of the best in the game. Fastball, changeup, slider, curveball, everything was working. Look at this overlay of his changeup and slider, and you can see why those two pitches are deadly. Both his changeup and slider have over a 44% whiff rate. And here's an isolated overview of his fastball and changeup. There's some panning working here, but those pitches are filthy. And here's a close-up of McClanahan's changeup. You can see what makes that pitch so unhittable. During this game, Angel Hernandez came out during a mound meeting, and I had time to do some lip reading on it. I'm not John Boy, but I think that's pretty accurate. My filthiest starter of the day, that was Dylan Cease. Cease had a career-high 13 strikeouts in seven innings, giving up only one run. He had his fastball touching 100 miles an hour and his disgusting sliders. And check out this brutal three-pitch strikeout of sliders and knee-buckling curveballs. It's one of the most unfair at-bats of the year so far. A lot like McClanahan, Cease's pitch arsenal is also one of the best in baseball. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Miguel Castro had this 94-mile-an-hour changeup. Clay Holmes had this mean 98-mile-an-hour sinker. Sam Mole had this slider that had 3,391 RPMs. Amazing. During the Angels-Mariners brawl yesterday, Rysel Iglesias had these knuckle seeds. I mean, look, there's virtually no rotation on this. I put a tail on it so you can see the movement. The expected batting average against this has to be close to zero. But my filthiest pitch of the day was from Joan Duran. He not only touched 103, but he had this 100-mile-an-hour splinker. Yes, a 100-mile-an-hour splinker. My man is throwing off-speed pitches at 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour with that movement? That is pure insanity. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Um, phrasing? And the old reach-around. How can you not be romantic about baseball? Here are my picks for today's games. I like Sonny Gray for eight or more strikeouts against the Guardians. Now, I know he didn't have a great outing last time against the Guardians, but Gray is very inventive and takes something from every outing, 
And when he's on, he can really rack up the strikeout. So I look for him to turn that around and have a really good game. Also, I like Martin Perez for six strikeouts or more against the Royals. Now, Perez has been pitching great, and I know he's not a strikeout machine, but six or more, that seems doable to me. Since Shane McClanahan pitched yesterday and had an outstanding outing, I thought I'd go over the updated Cy Young odds. McClanahan's the clear favorite in the AL, but there are others lurking, like Justin Verlander, Alec Manoa, Dylan Cease. Who do you think is going to win? In the NL, Sandy Alcantara is the clear favorite right now, but you also have Corbin Burns, the defending Cy Young Award winner, lurking, as well as Max Fried and Joe Musgrove. Who's your pick to win it?